Hey guys, Justice here. Uh, excited to cut this short video for you here today with a couple of tips on MLM sponsoring. Okay, so these are MLM sponsoring tips that I want to give you when it comes to dealing with people long distance. Okay, particularly people that are more kind of cold market or becoming more market because you've connected with them online via your marketing or via Facebook. Now, certainly in our warm market situation, we have people um, that are long distance that we're going to expose, and a few of these rules will still apply. Uh, some will be a little bit different because obviously when we deal with our warm market and they know us, we don't have to build that relationship as much. We don't have to find out. Uh, we may have a better understanding of what their needs are up front, okay, rather than connecting with someone online and having to find those things out first. But either way, the, the, the following steps after that initial process are going to be the same. Okay, so what are a couple of things that can help you get results in this? And the reason I'm cutting this video today is because I'm working with a lot of new teammates, okay? I'm working with teammates from all over the country right now that have come on in the last uh, couple of weeks, and I'm really showing them how to get exposures, get them the right way, even if it's someone that they've connected with on Facebook or if it's someone uh, that's long distance from them. So what's one of the first things? Well, the first thing, and, and this kind of goes for... Uh, this goes for that cold market situation is we, we have to find out what their needs are. Okay, what do they need? What is it that they're looking for? Why are they, why are they open to looking at a home business? You know, a lot of times, and I'm sure if you've uh, been on Facebook uh, surrounded by people in home business, a lot of times people are just so quick to hit you with a link. Okay, they don't build a relationship with you. They don't find out what your needs are. Now, if you're in a situation where you're dealing with warm market and they're long distance, you may uh, you may know uh, what their needs are. Uh, maybe you have had an indication based on other conversations. In a warm market situation, when we're looking to get into the exposure, we're gonna and I'll put a little uh, little asterisk over here. We want to uh, we want to be in a rush. Okay, so that's going to be a little bit different. So when I have someone I'm connecting with for the first time, someone who's come through one of my websites, someone I'm connected with on Facebook, I want to get them on the phone. And I want to find out. How we connected? What they're you know why they're open to home business? What their needs are? What they're looking for? Okay, that's gonna that's that's what I'm talking about right here. Now, um, you know, for the sake of this training, I'll kind of cover both sides here. If you are connecting with someone in your warm market that's you know maybe on the other side of the country, you're gonna want to be in a rush. Okay, you're gonna to want to contact them, say, hey, listen, working on something new, super excited about it. I wanted you to see it first. When can you carve out 20 minutes? Okay, something along those lines. You know, because if you establish that you're in a rush with them, they're not going to be able to get into, hey, what is it? You know, a great line for that is, is um, that I learned from a, a friend of mine a couple years back, a mentor of mine. You know, he'd always say, hey, hey, listen, you know, it's justice. Do you have a minute? And when they say yes, you can follow with good because I only have a minute myself. So you're establishing that you're in a rush so you don't have to sit there and, and be your own worst enemy and start saying too much or, or start, uh, you know, answering too many questions. You know, you want to get a commitment to someone to an appointment to share information with them. And that's what we're going to talk about. But if you have someone that you've connected with on Facebook, someone that you've got on the phone for the first or second time, you really want to get into a situation where you're finding out why they're open, what they're looking for, all that good stuff. The next step is to set an appointment and, and even more so I'm gonna say you know be in control okay I think that's the best word for it um, what do I mean by be in control well what I mean is a lot of times and I get these emails every day from people who aren't even in my warm market people who don't even know me they take my email address from something they got and they decide to put me on their list okay and I get blasted these these emails with links in them. Check this out. Ground floor opportunity. Okay, or okay, a couple of people I'm working with right now, very recently, you know, um, will say, well, I sent this person a link. Now I have to follow up with them. By being control, I mean control the situation as to where you are. You have total control over follow up. You have total control over when people are seeing this information. A couple of ways to do that: don't send people links. Okay, don't send a link in, link in an email and say, hey, check this out when you have an opportunity, I'll talk to you on Tuesday. Don't drop someone a link on Facebook, okay, uh, you know, after they messaged you six hours ago and you go, oh, here's the thing I was talking about. Okay, don't blast email your warm market list because you're going to just totally burn out that area. You're going to waste major, major opportunity because everybody's going, they're now in control. You don't know when someone's viewed the information. You don't know uh, when to follow up with them. You know, they have an opportunity to come up with reasons why not to formulate objections. Okay, remember naturally, okay, they're going to put their walls up. You know, no is going to be the, the word that's on the tip of their tongue. So you don't want to give them reasons. Okay, you don't want to give them opportunity to make that that much stronger. So how do I stay in control? Well, in any situation, whether it be with my warm market when I'm in a rush 
or with, with someone I've connected with online when I've kind of taken some time to find out what they're looking for, you know, I'm going to set time aside when they can be present in front of their computer. Okay, obviously in a situation long distance, you don't have a chance to sit down with them, do a one-on-one, -on -one. you're not going to do your own presentation, okay, I want to set time aside and I'm going to use materials, particularly company materials, I mean my company has just the most incredible materials, I wouldn't for a second go out and create my own stuff, um, but I'm going to use my materials and I'm going to get them in front of the computer at a specific time when I have their undivided attention. Now, what's some of the things I might say to do that? Listen, when can you set a few, when can you set 30 minutes aside when I can have your undivided attention so I can share some information with you? Not so I can show you a presentation, not so I can send you a link, because what are they going to say? They're going to say, well, why don't you just send it to me now, you know, and, and I'll review it and we can talk then. You've totally lost control in that situation. I can't tell you how many times people say to me, well, before now in that appointment, or, you know, can you send me something so I can look it over? And I'll flat out say, no, I can't do that. Okay? And why? You know, they might go, hey, why not? I'm going to go, hey, listen, because the way I share this business and the way I set appointments is the way I'm going to teach you to do it. So I want you to experience it the right way. That way you're set up for success if you find what I'm doing is a fit. Okay? That's what I would say with a cold market person who's in the market for an opportunity, who's open, okay, who knows that this is what we're talking about. In a warm market situation, okay, where someone says, hey, can you just tell me more or send me more, I'd say, listen, you know, I, I wouldn't do it justice. I told you I'm in a rush. You know, if you, if you don't want to set 20 minutes aside, that's cool. I just wanted to talk to you first, okay? In that situation, when you take it away just a little bit, when you posture up, when you take control, you'll get the respect of the person you're talking to and they'll likely set some time aside. And if they don't, it's their problem. Now here's what so many people do. So many people will send information anyway. So many people will send information upon their request. Now you've lost control and I'm gonna tell you something. The best part, okay, about being in control of that situation is if somebody says, well, you know, I don't have time. At least they have to sit there and wonder what you're up to. At least they don't have information. You can go on about your merry way, do your thing, push your business forward, and create curiosity, more curiosity in them based on the activity you're up to. Because you have not shown your cards. You haven't given the end of the movie. Okay? So one thing I'll do, okay, to really maintain control, and this is and this helps with follow-up too, is I'll set that time aside. I'll make sure someone's in front of the computer. And this is what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say, okay, open up an internet browser, and they do. I share with them a website that I ask them to type into the URL bar. Okay, now I say make sure you're not typing this into the Google bar. I want you to type it in up top. I give them the website that I'd like them to look at. Now what I love about the presentation I share is about 14 minutes long. So, you know, we're not using up too much of anybody's time. They're not sitting down to an hour long deal. You know, um, so once they say they have it up, my next question is, what do you see? I want to know what they see on their computer because a lot of times people will mistype a website or they'll put it in the Google bar regardless of my instructions and end up on the wrong website. Now if I tell them what they should see, okay, they may, they may say, oh well that's kind of what I'm looking at and try and move forward from there. I do not tell someone what they should see, I say, what do you see? Okay, now when they tell me what they see and they tell me what I know is on that website, I say, okay, here's what I'd like you to do. I say, what you have in front of you is a 14 minute video. Now for you it may be different. Uh, this explains everything about what I'm up to. Can you turn the volume up on your computer? They do. I ask them to press play. And when I hear the volume of the information I'm sharing with them, I tell them, I'll call you back in 15 minutes. Okay? I am in total control. Now, I mean, how does that help? I can follow up with people 100% of the time. You can't send someone information and know that they're going to view it 100% of the time. You can't get a follow-up right away. So what's the next thing I'm going to do? I'm going to, uh, what's the best way? I'm going to alert my upline, okay? Guys, three ways are very powerful. Now, should you be able to close without a three way? Absolutely. Okay, there are going to be times when your upline's not available for a three way? Absolutely. But there's nothing like getting someone else on the phone. Okay, so that, so that people understand that this goes beyond you. There's something bigger than what you're working with, okay, and especially when you're working with top people. I mean, we've got like a dream team where I'm at, and, you know, I've got people that just have so much credibility on top of my credibility, which just makes it irresistible. Okay, if I connect someone, I mean, I'm working right now with, with people that are the top recruiters in the last 90 days in my company. So when I tell someone, hey, listen, I know, you, you know, it sounds like you're pretty interested in this deal, and uh, I know you've got a couple more questions, 
I happen to work with the top recruiters, okay? How would you like it if I connected with you with one of those and, uh, you know, got some of your questions answered? The answer is always going to be yes. Okay, but just to get the third party testimonial, I mean, I will even do a three way with my downline. If I have someone that's looking for their need is that they need more support, okay, that they didn't get the kind of training and support that they thought they deserved in, in a previous network marketing company, okay, I may do a three way with someone in my downline who's just been in other network marketing companies and just blown away by the training and support we have. Okay, why? It's an incredible testimonial. Okay, that's what that person's looking for. So I'm going to alert my upline. I'm going to send a text out. And I'm going to say, listen, I've got someone on the presentation. I've got someone looking. What? I'm in total control right now. I know they're on it. I know the minute I can call them back. Heck, I can play the video with no volume in the background and know exactly when it's over. Okay, I'm going to get the follow-up. I know if there's people available for three ways. I'm telling you guys, if you stick to this, okay, and again, in your warm market situation, you're going to do the same thing, okay, you're just, the conversation may be a little different than someone who's an opportunity seeker coming to you online, okay, but if you set that appointment, if you share information the way I told you to share information here, your results are going to go through the roof. Your exposures, the percentage of people that watch your exposure, your, your information, it's going to skyrocket. Your ability to follow up with people is going to skyrocket. Now, I'm telling you. There are going to be times when people push you to get outside of this routine. Posture up, keep control, treat this like a business, understand that you make the rules. Okay, when you make the rules, when you keep it under control like this, people are going to respect you for it. So I hope you found this really, really helpful today. Okay, if you did, make sure to comment uh, below, share the information with people you know, and uh, I'll be cutting another video for you in the very near future. I'll see you very soon.